This problem stem when we have a twist of 4 newton meters is applied to the handle of the screwdriver. So this is the screwdriver here. And it's asking us to resolve this couple moment into a pair of couple forces F exerted on the handle and P exerted on the blade. So in this case, we have the blade here and we're doing a, a flathead screwdriver, right? And the handle here is 30 millimeters distance and we have a moment being 4 newtons meter. So let's write that down. So our moment is 4 newtons meters and it's asking us to resolve this couple moment into its forces that we're exerting on. So in this case the screwdriver is being turned by a hand but in this case it's two forces are equal and opposite to each other. So if, if you could kind of see it this way um, on the top here we have a force going this way and on the bottom we have a force going the opposite way. They're equal and opposite which is causing this screwdriver to turn. So we're supposed to resolve we're supposed to solve what this force is and at this end where we have the the flat head we're supposed to solve for the P which are the forces P here that is basically one is going this way the other one's going the opposite they're equal and opposite which basically is causing this screw to turn to rotate and the distance between these two forces P here is five millimeters so the first step here is to write down the formula of the moment so the moment is equals to the the force times the distance between those two forces that are equal and opposite so let's look at the let's look at the moment with respect to the the handle portion of this, so we're we're gonna solve for the F. So so the moment is equal to force times d. We solve for F, which essentially is equal to the moment divided by d. In this case, since we're dealing with newtons meters, we're gonna convert the d, which is 30 millimeters, into meters. So our moment is four newtons meters. And our D is 0.03 meters. So our force is 133 newtons is the force exerted on the handle. One on this side, the other one on this side. So for a couple moments, the D is the distance between these two equal and opposite forces. The same goes for P. So our P is equal to the moment. And since the moment is the same, right, when you're looking at the handle or where you're looking at the screw itself, the moment stays constant. So in this case, moment divided by D, the distance between the forces P here is five millimeters. So four newton meter divided by zero point 005 meters convert it to meters to cancel out the the units and just be left with newton and the p is 800 newtons these are the forces that cause that moment of four newtons meters and so hopefully you guys have a better idea of torques or moments and how to solve them when it comes to analyzing certain systems as well as the moment of a couple or a couple moment hopefully now you have a better idea of what they are